Have you ever been to London? No. Would you like to go? Very much. You hit your ride with this fellow. He's going to Have you been to London? No. What's the furthest? Where's your home? Delaware. Delaware in the eastern part of the United States? What are you doing out here? <laughs> I go to San Bernardino Valley College. Oh, well, yeah, right on. Yeah. What made you come out here? Well, uh, my parents are here. Oh, well, that's a reasonable thought. I thought maybe you're coming for the warm weather. No rain, sunshine all the time. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> We have just finished about a month and a half of, what, about nine inches of rain out here? That doesn't happen. In any case, you go to London, it's foggy, but there's a very unusual thing happening over there, and I bring that up for a reason, because this man has, uh, I don't know whether you'd call it a double-sided album or whatever it is, he and his friends, uh, Bread, have a double platinum or some crazy thing. I've gotten all the details screwed up, except I know it's a biggie. This man is so prolific. If you have a chance, I hope you'll see his song performed in a movie called The Goodbye Girl. This is the title tune. Sung, written by, performed by Mr. David Gates. I saw that movie, and I listened, please sit down, sir, I saw the movie, and I, I checked, you know, I was, I'm one of those crazy people who stay for the last and watch all the credits run and all, and I said, I know him, I know him. Is that the first thing you've ever done for a movie? Very first thing. I is went. it any more difficult than just writing a song? It is a little bit, Dick, because you're given a situation that you're put into, and they said, this is the story, and we need you to write a song along these lines. So On the other hand, you don't have to use your imagination. I mean, the That's book's true. already done. That's true. It's, uh, it's a great challenge, really, to take a situation like that and see if you can make the song fit the picture. Does that give you any inspiration or eyes to uh, write a movie script or anything like that, or score a whole film or whatever? I'd like to very much, particularly since I, uh, this was such a good project, yeah. you know, I got off on the right foot with it. I'd like to do something like, uh, you know, four or five songs in a movie, maybe a musical or something similar to it. There's a lady in that film named Quinn Cummings. Do you know her? Yeah, I met her at uh, 
at the, at the, the music the, award. Music award show. She is really cute, just it, exactly the way off off screen she is on. Screen. This lady is about what would you guess? Eight years old? Yeah, something like that. Eight or nine years. She's a hundred and ten. She is the oldest woman that ever walked the face of the earth. She's about this big, cute as a button. I started following up a story over there about an album in London, and one of the reasons you're going over there is you've you got a giant hit, You and Bread. What is it? They put a lot of songs together? Yeah, the big thing over there now is to take 20, 30 songs, put it on an album, like 10 or 15 on a the side. They call them compilation albums, and basically they took the Best of Bread, Volume 1 and 2, and put it together, and it's called The Sound of Bread. And it went double something or other. Yeah, it's gone double platinum, which is amazing. It's been number one or number two there for nine weeks. Are you going to go over there and work or just lollygag around have fun or what? Well, because of the success of the album, the uh, BBC asked us to come do an hour special, so uh, nice. it's going to be neat. That, that couldn't hurt. You know, this song you're about to do, I've heard before, but it, it's somewhere back in the recesses of my mind. It's from another album, another time, or whatever. Straight, you know, and this is not one of my better days. Okay, Dick. It's called Hold Tight, and it's on the last Bread album, the Lost Without Your Love album. It's also been covered by a number of people. Vicki Sue Robinson had a big record with it, but uh, I wanted to show my version. I was going to say, this is, this is not what I would expect of David Gates or Bread. It's a little disco ish here. Hey, what? I've got to take these. You've got to get strapped in. Ladies and gentlemen, please, once again, David Gates. <laughs> Show sure. 